shouldn't be carrying that. It doesn't matter how much you protest. I'm going to exact revenge on the animals that harm Maximista, and no one can dissuade me, including you. Why don't you tell me what happened? Maximista was accosted by two Russian marauders. They left her for dead. Crumpled in a heap on the park stairs, exactly where I found Wise Georgie not even a year ago. Is she, is she okay? Yeah, she's in the hospital, but unharmed. I, at least in the naked eye, with a head injury, it can be stealthy, not immediately apparent. Well, she, she was hit in the head? No, she, she hit him on a fall, but hard enough to get knocked out. And that's how I found the only woman of my heart. Unconscious. She was so still, stone cold. I thought she was dead. But she, she's dead. You just said she's fine. Yeah, but it doesn't fine. negate what the Russian thugs did. Maximista is tiny. Her, her bones are delicate. I picked her up. She was, she felt weightless. Her fragile femininity is no match for burly Russian thugs. But they brutalized her anyway, and they need to be held accountable. That's why I'm going to take care of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I appreciate your offer of. Intercession, but this is a very personal no, matter. It's to a me. very personal matter to me, because Maxie's under my protection as much as anyone else, and I swear to you, whoever attacked her is going to pay. I understand what you're going through. Okay, I've been there. I know that you love Maxie. The thought of anyone hurting her makes you so mad that all you want to do is strike back. You think whatever you have to do is worth the price, and I'm telling you right now, it's not. You cross that line, it's like walking in the quicksand. You fall into a darkness and it haunts you. I never want you to experience that. That's why you let me take care of this. It's Bernie. I gotta take this. No, no, hold, hold. Spinelli! Yeah. We retaliate immediately. Guard of Mister Sir, I was um, I, I was I was hoping to speak to him. Yeah, Mister C's not here right now. Oh, well, I I'll come back another time. Not so fast. What are you really doing here, Spinelli? Really doing? Yeah. You irritate the boss, and he terrifies you. What reason would you have to seek him out? Well, it, you know, in in these trying times, the unfortunate rift between Mister Sir and Stone Cold endangers us all you know for everyone's sake it should be mended so it was my hope that a sincere appeal to mr. sir could bring about a reconciliation R right um, I agree that it's the worst possible time for Sonny and Jason to be at odds but I can assure you mr. C's not going to entertain any of your appeals you're lucky he's not here Spinelli my advice to you right now hit the road before he comes back that may be the most prudent choice I I thank you for your wise counsel. than I thought. Concrete. Oh. <laughs> I was hit hard enough to be knocked unconscious, but there was no damage, permanent or otherwise. I am vastly relieved. I was terrified that massive guilt trip Mac dumped on you yesterday actually worked, but I should have had more faith in you. <laughs> That's a really pretty plant, is it for me? Yes, uh, the jackal brings a small offering of lavender. 
suitable for transplantation next summer in Maximista's garden. It's really lovely. Thank you. But fair warning, I'm horrible with plants. Usually I just walk by and they die, so I might need your help. Under normal circumstances, the jackal would be delighted to assist. But the current state of affairs are the antithesis of normal, even when measured by the skewed reality in which I currently reside. Okay, I'm really good at Spinelli speak, but you've lost me. The jackal must make himself scarce for the foreseeable future. Are you going to the mattress? No. No. But the protective parent was right. The brutal assault on your frail and gorgeous person was my fault. Therefore, reluctantly, Jackal must abdicate his hard-won position in your life. No. No, Spinelli. I refuse to accept that. It's for the best. Not for me. I need you. And you can't let Mac manipulate you into staying away from me. Now, the Commissioner of Law and Order made valid points. I made a conscious choice to align myself with the criminal element. That association nearly cost you your life. That is not true. Those Russian guys, they probably saw me when they were trashing Kelly's. That's that's why they attacked me, not because of you. I fear it's, it's not that simple, and it's not limited to this, just, this current incident. Violence is at the heart of the organization. It's, it's tentacles spread out to all those who surround it. Spinelli, I know you like to think that you're a mobster, but you're really not. You're more like tech support. But for Jason Morgan, that, that alone could compromise your safety. I fear that Max Lisa doesn't have a clear understanding of what I endured. When I saw you lying still, seemingly broken, in the exact same place that I saw Wise Georgie dead, I thought you were dead too. And something... Something broke inside me. I knew that if it was true that your consummate fire had been extinguished forever, nothing would ever matter to me again. See, I, I feel the same that way, Spinelli. That's why we still have to be friends. I can't imagine my life without you. I mean, if we weren't friends anymore, I would probably turn back into the same selfish, horrible person I was when we first met. And you wouldn't want that, would you? I mean, you're always telling me to follow my dreams and helping me realize my potential. Please, you can't abandon me. I, I think you're just becoming over agitated. Don't worry about anything. You will always own the jackal's heart. What I'm saying is I need your presence, too. And you shall have it. Just not right now. Where are you going? Tend to what's necessary. Spinelli, what does that mean? Get some rest, fair one. Where are you going? Freeze, evildoers! This is for Maximista. 